Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I am in front of one of our Airbnbs, but I'm here to talk about the other Airbnb that we have and how much we made last month and two of the reasons I believe we made that much on that Airbnb. Well, here's how it works. Way back in the beginning of the starting of our Airbnb career, we rented for a lot lower just wanting to get one review on top of another review on top of another review until we gathered a group of reviews we became a super host we started inching our prices up so you can see kind of where i'm going right i'm not going to say incrementally with each review you can charge more and more but once you get past a certain number of reviews you can charge more and if all of your reviews are five-star reviews, you can even charge more. So striving for reviews and striving for five-star reviews will eventually, over the years, drive your prices higher. So the first year, our monthly rents were probably around $6,000. Now they're over $10,000. So that's $1,000 a week more that we're making because we have good reviews. How do you get reviews? How do you get good reviews? Let's talk about how you get reviews. We always ask the guests to review our property. If they don't do it right away, a few days later, I send them something saying, hey, we'd like to know how your experience was at our property to help us be better the next time you come back. If I still don't get a review, I send them another message saying, hey, thanks for staying with us. We really hope you stay again with us. How was your stay? Can you review us on Airbnb? And if I don't get a review from them, again, I'll send them a third one. After that, I don't bug them anymore, but I'm still saying, hey, we really want to improve our process. We want to improve your stay the next time you stay with us. What can we do better? Please review us on Airbnb. Well, how do you get good reviews then? Well, I believe good reviews start before the guest even gets to your house. I believe good reviews start with when the guest requests to stay in your property. And if you get back with them quickly, they're gonna know and understand that that communication is gonna happen quickly. When they ask you a question, they know that you're gonna answer them within an hour. That's super important. I feel like the next thing you need to do is disclose everything about your property. If the pool is closing early this year because they can't get lifeguards, I need you to disclose that before the guests show up. If the guests have kids that are under 10 and you know you only have adult bikes, let them know that before they check in. Let them know everything that you know and communicate easily and often with them. Less than an hour is the expectation and you set that up when you start communicating right when the guest asks to stay in your property. We also send a letter the day after they check in, asking them if everything is okay, letting them know where the bike lock is, letting them know where the pool towels are, letting them know that there's a manual on the table where they can find out all kinds of information. But if they need us, we will be right around the corner, virtually, and we'll get back within a few minutes if they have questions. That's how we think we made $10,127 on our property this month. You can definitely do it. Start slowly, ask for reviews, communicate often. So now you can see how good communication ties to good reviews, how that incrementally drives your prices up. It doesn't happen overnight, guys. It's been a long road, but we have great reviews. We have great pricing because of our great reviews, and we're sitting happy today. Guys, thanks for watching the end of this video. If you got something out of this, please give us a like and a subscribe and maybe a comment below. I know it's not easy, but I know you can drive your prices up. Make it a passion of yours to get five-star reviews and communicate better with your guests. Keep on grinding, guys.